look, look, I'm not, I'm not sure whether we have to put a team in every city that we visit. Do you know, like, like we don't have to do that. But to showcase our sport in a place like Barcelona, obviously, you know, the Catalan co connection is huge for us, and you know, Parade in the Challenge Cup here gave us the opportunity to come and uh, and play this game here. But I just think it was a superb advert for the game. Uh, we all know how good the game is internally in our own rugby league circle, but to be able to show it to certain other people and to expose them to that, um, it was bigger than just Catalans on Wigan playing out there today. It was it was more for the whole of rugby league. Well, we couldn't get the players off the field at the end of the game. They just wanted to, they just wanted to stay on there, and rightly so as well. It's um, you have to understand um, when we got to Wembley last year, we got we got criticised for only taking, I think five or six thousand fans across to London. In the middle of summer, which was an extremely difficult, we had two weeks to prepare for that. So we only, you know, we got criticised for that. You know, we're going to retain the favour today. They brought four or five thousand fans as well, but it was our fans' opportunity to come from Perpignan in their hordes. I don't know whether anybody drove that way today from Perpignan to Barcelona, but you saw exactly what you would see on a Wembley trip. You know, all of our fans coming across, and to to give them this that opportunity. This place is is spiritual to the people from Catalonia. This is. It's hard to explain unless you, you live here. I'm not from Castellan, so even I don't fully understand it, but our owner, Bernard uh, Gouache, and some of the other staff who are, and players who are from Catalan, it is more than just a stadium. The, the, the Catalan, I, I, I've quickly learned that the Catalan people are, they are hard-working people, they are fierce people, they are loyal people uh, to everything that they do. And our team has to represent the people that, that support us. Our team has to represent our region of Catalan. And when you go out and play like we did today, with fight and passion and drive, you know, and just a desire not to give in and not to stop, that is what the people respond to in this area. Like I said, it's, it's uh, particularly the, the area where we are in Perpignan, that part of Catalan, very hard working. You know, working class people will respect people who will go out and work hard. Our owner does it. Our owner gets up at four o'clock every morning to go to work. He probably doesn't need to, he's got enough cash there to, to, to last him out, I believe. But he does it every single morning, that's what he does. He gets up at four o'clock. So our team has to represent that type of people. And I thought today, in the biggest stadium of, of all, for the people from Catalan, we did that. Well, we are the Catalan Dragons, we're not the Perpignan Dragons, we represent Catalan. So Barcelona, Girona, some of those other areas there. Uh, what I've got fanatical, fanatical support for sport. Not you know, obviously, clearly football is the is the number one. But sport in general, Barcelona is a, is a great city for you know all sorts of sporting events. So for us to bring our game and our sport into this area, hopefully we can do it again. It was a big success, and I think given more time to prepare as well. You know, if we if we had another fixture year in twelve months' time. It could make it even bigger and stronger as we move forward. I know there's a there's a push from people to play the magic weekend here. You know, the, uh, I, I couldn't disagree against that. The groundsman might have an issue with that. <laughs> so, uh, I'll be honest. That field was probably the best field, the best field we've ever played on, the best surface we've ever played on. Again, you know, credit to to the guy who put that together. But um, yeah, we want to. We we want to. Um, Perpignan is our home. That's where our people are from. But we want to represent Catalan as a whole region. I think, the, I think the Catalan's head coach's job is the best job in the Super League. Uh, for a number of reasons, it, it's so different, it's so challenging. We have, you know, we're only a team that has different speaking languages within the team, you know, French and English and a mix from Australia, New Zealand as well. So um, the cultures that, you know, different cultures that, you know, that go with that, you get the laid back Australian and the, the um, the volatile Catalonian, you know what I mean? You get the complete opposites at time. So those challenges are great. They're fantastic. They're difficult. The, chat, the travel is different for us. The different experiences. So all of that put together makes this um, a tough job. I'm very, very lucky. We've got some brilliant staff, brilliant staff that work with us um, on both the physical performance and the medical side to make sure that our players are given the best opportunity to be ready to play. But while wow, it's a one hell of a job, there's some highs and there's some lows, but today, uh, really, really does take some beating in terms of general experiences.